conservative estimate, the British Medical Journal Lancet calculates that in the nation of India, up to 12 million girls have been aborted over the last three decades. These are women who should be with us today. Their voices calling out a child's name. The creak of a chair in a college classroom. The click of shoes down an office corridor. But they are not there. Contrary to general perception, it is not the poor and illiterate who are primarily responsible for killing unborn girls. In India, rates of female feticide are found highest in the homes of the rich, middle class, and the educated. Reports state that sex determination and sex selective abortion by unethical medical professionals has grown today into a thousand crore or $244 million industry. A discreetly hidden act the consequences of female feticide are, however, increasingly and alarmingly becoming visible. Decades of killing our daughters has skewed the ratio of women to men, and women are now being sold to villages with not enough brides. The Indian woman at the same time deified and devalued, is grievously injured, a mortal blow to her head. In 1994, the PNDT Act came into being, banning seeking and disclosing the sex of the fetus and making, even encouraging this, a criminal act. Since then, 55 convictions have been made. In the same period of time, it is estimated that 10 million more girls have been aborted. What in the world is happening? What causes us reasonable, respectable citizens to commit crimes? Crimes against humanity as we go about our day-to-day -day lives. One of the roots of the problem of missing women is the missing man. Son preference has bred spoiled sons. Grown up men still preferred sons are behaving like spoiled boys. Grabbing whichever toy they desire, getting whatever they demand.
What does it mean to truly be a man? What does it mean to truly be strong, not for the purposes of exploiting, oppressing, but strong for different reasons, for the purposes of protecting, respecting, serving, and cherishing? Our lives are connected by a thousand invisible threads and all along these sympathetic fibers our actions run as causes and return to us as results. <laughs>